Hello, this is Jonas from vhservice.com. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can get the free legal version of ModelSim working on your Ubuntu Linux system. And the ModelSim version that I'm talking about is the one that comes with Quartus Prime Lite Edition from Intel. This software comes for Linux, but it doesn't work out of the box on Ubuntu. It only works on Red Hat based systems like CentOS. But in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can make this ModelSim version work on Ubuntu 20.4. And I should give some credit to this guy, Prior Design, and I'm going to link to this guy's GitHub page because that's what I'm basing my own tutorial on. So this guy has compiled a list of commands and how to make this uh, ModelSim version work on Ubuntu. Uh, but it didn't work out of the box. I had to make some changes to some of the commands to make it work with the latest version of Ubuntu, that's 20.4. And therefore I have created my own blog post, this one, uh, which you can get to from the video description. Just go to the video description and click the link. And in here I will list all of the commands that I'm using in this tutorial so that you can just copy paste them into your own Linux terminal. The first thing we have to do is to download the Quartus Prime Lite Edition software. And I'm going to link to this download page from Intel in the blog post as well. And you have to select, of course, uh, Linux version. And it defaults to the combined files there. But I suggest you select individual files and go with the Monsim Intel FPGA Edition includes starter edition. So this is the uh, one that we need that contains only model sim and I've already downloaded this file and I've also created a new virtual machine here uh, which I've installed the latest version of Ubuntu that's 20.4 so this is a fresh install of Ubuntu 20.4 I'm going to go into the home folder which is uh, empty only the, the default folders inside of here now I'm going to copy this file that I've downloaded from Intel. So this is the file, Monsim setup, linux.run. And there we go, the file has been copied into my Linux home folder. And I'm going to right click in the folder and select open in terminal, because I want to get a command shell which where, where we can type commands. The first thing that we should do is to update our system by typing sudo apt update and hitting enter. And then I have to type my password because it's a sudo command, a super user command. And all of these commands, they are listed in the blog post. So just go there. And now it's downloading all of the new packages and there's one that can be upgraded. You are probably going to have more if you have a new Linux Ubuntu system. Uh, but I've just installed this one. So I'm going to type apt upgrade this time to install this single package. So after we have hit this command and installed the, the uh, updated package of something, then we know that our Ubuntu system is up to date and we can proceed to install Molsim. So if I do an ls here, we see that the file is here, the installation file, Molsim setup linux.run. So I'm going to just run this file like this, Molsim setup dot slash monism setup linux dot run now the installation is beginning and this is the GUI I'm going to go with all of the defaults because uh, uh, I want to s install the one that says license is not required that's the whole point of this one this tutorial right and then select the license agreement and it's going to suggest home slash your username slash intel fpj slash 19.1 and I'm going to let it install in the home folder of my user. Uh, you don't have to have sudo access to install Molsim. Um, we can install it, for example, in our home directory. And I'm going to just do this right now. Go with the defaults, select next and next. And now it is installing. And this is going to take some time. So I'm going to speed up the video from here. And there we go. The installation is complete and we can click finish to close the installation GUI. If I now list the home folder, 
you can see I have the Intel FPGA folder here. This is the installation directory. And to start MolenSim, I can type uh, dot slash Intel FPJ. So I'm going into this directory, going into a directory named 19.1, and then going into a directory named MolenSim ASA, ASE, then go into a bin folder and run a script named vsim. So this is the script for starting MolenSim. And on a Red Hat based, Red Hat based system, this might work, but in Ubuntu, it isn't going to work because there's some problem that we have to fix. So we have to make some changes to this file. This is a script. So I'm going to just look at this file or look at what kind of type it is. And we can see if we do an ls, uh, we can see that this is actually a symbolic link to another file which is named vco. So let's look at this vco file. Uh, VCO is a regular file, and, and we are going to edit this script. This is, is a script file. Let's have a look at this file. It's just a normal script, and we're going to make some changes to it. But, but first, if I do a directory listing on this file, we can see that we cannot write to it because the write bit hasn't been set. <coughs> it's a read-only file, but you can change this in Linux by using the chmod command and typing giving the argument u plus w. So this means user, your own user gets the right permission. And I give this file as an argument. And again, this command is found in the blog post. So you don't have to type it out. You can just copy paste it. So now we have uh, write permissions. We can see here by the write bit is being set. And we're going to make some changes to this file. But before we make any changes, uh, it's uh, wise to make a copy of the file. I'm going to make a copy of this file. Just copy it to a new file in the same spot, but name it, for example, original. Original, like this, vco underscore original. So I'm copying the vco file to the same name, but with underscore original. So we can have a copy which is unaltered. And now the um, original blog post on GitHub that I um, or the GitHub page that I showed you, it suggested we're going to alter this file manually, but I don't like doing that. So I've created some um, scripts in my blog post here, or some uh, command line editor uh, lines using SED. So you can copy these lines, these three SED commands, just copy them and go on to paste them in. And th they are going to make the changes for you in this VCO file. We can check this. For example, if I do a diff now, see the difference between the new VCO file and the original VCO file. We can see that it has made some, some changes. It has a change to 32-bit mode here, and it has... Uh, changed this one from Linux, no, from Linux uh, Red Hat 6 to Linux or something like that. And it has appended an, an extra line. So if you are seeing this, then uh, then you're all good. The, uh, these three lines have made all of the changes that you need to this VCO file. So the next thing we need to do now, it's not going to run yet if we try to run the vsim script now, there we go, still not working, there's a different error. And this is because it relies on some libraries that are 32-bit and that are outdated. So we're going to fix this by downloading them and compiling them manually. So first we have to set up the environment by installing some 32-bit libraries. So below there, uh, here we can see in my blog post, I have some lines where we install 32-bit libraries. Just copy these lines and go on and paste them in the blog post. Just press yes to install everything. And I'm going to speed up this so that we can continue this tutorial. And there the installation has completed. 
So we can go on to download the outdated package that we're going to install. So I'm still in the my home directory now. This is the home directory. And I'm going to download the package directly from this spot. So I'm going to copy this line, wget and this savannah.gnu.org and download the free type library. This is lib free type the outdated package that uh, the model sim depends on. So I'm going to download it directly by using wget, like this. So now we have downloaded the new file here. There it is, free type. So I'm going to unpack it by using the command uh, tar xjf, I believe. Free type dot bz2. And now we have unpacked it, so there's the folder and I can go into the new folder. So here's uh, the source code for the package that we have and we need to build it. And we have already installed all of the dependencies by the commands that we copied in, the, the, the packages that took some time to install. They are the prerequisites for compiling this um, free type library. So I'm going to go ahead back to my blog post here and copy the configure line here. This one, configure, to compile lib free type, like this. Configure, and if everything goes well, and it should if you have the same Ubuntu version as I have, it says nothing to be done for Unix. I'm going to do a make clean, just to uh, make sure that we don't have any old binaries lying around. And then I'm going to do a make, just type make. And all of this is also in the uh, command listing on my blog post, so you, you can just copy paste everything. And if everything went well, it should uh, look something like this. And what we now have is the, the, the libraries are compiled. They are in the objects folder here, in this one the libraries should be inside of there. But we need to copy them and move them to the to the installation directory for, for model sim. So I'm going to do a CD to get back to my home folder. And I'm going to go into Intel FJ, the model sim installation now, or quarters installation that is. 19.1 um, model sim ASE. So now I'm in, in the model sim directory installation directory. And I'm going to create a new folder by using mkdir and let's name the folder lib32 for example, like the github page um, su 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 suggested as well. So I'm doing the same thing, I'm uh, making a new directory, and then I'm going to copy the, uh, the files from the, the free type uh, compilation so this is tilde, my home directory. Go into the free type folder. Go into the objects folder. And go into the dot libs folder. And go into the, and um, select lib free type dot so and asterisk. So this star symbol asterisk. And then after a space, I'm going to specify where I want to copy them to. And that's of course this new folder that I created, lib32, like this, so I'm copying them over there. So now we have moved the, um, the files from, from, from the uh, free type, and you can delete this one now. The uh, compilation directory for lib free type, because now we have copied them into this Moldesim installation directory. Okay, so now I'm going to go back to my, ho my own home folder now and just run the um, vsim script again. Go into Intel FJ, go into 1.1 folder, go into Molsim ASA, and run the vsim script. Forgot the bin folder and run the vsim script. So it's a lot of typing and different um, commands here, but I have listed the exact commands in the blog post, so you get stuck, just turn to the blog post. So now when I press enter, it's a different story. Molsim actually starts on Ubuntu 20.4. So 
this is the fresh Molden Sim installation. And we can see that the um, font is a bit small, but you can change this from, it's over here, tools, edit preferences. I'm not going to do that now, but if you want to increase the font size, you can do that from there. And we're just going to test this installation now to see that it works. We, we're actually done now, but I'm going to take the um, um, zip file, which I've downloaded from my own blog post, one of my own blog posts. This is a blog post that I have, constrained random verification. And somewhere here you can download the code for this uh, this, this blog fault post. For many of my blog posts, actually, you can download the code. Just go to the need, the Molnesim project files question form, enter your email address and press give me the files and you should receive them by, by email. And also it's easy to use them. There's a GIF here explaining how you can use the files, but there's also uh, there's also a, um, a text file. So I'm going to uh, unpack this file, which you would have received from the email. Extract here. I'm going to go into the constrained random folder, which was unpacked. And you see there's the GIF, which uh, shows how to do it visually, or you can go into the how to run.txt file and it says here extract the zip file where all of we have already done that. Start Molsim, we have Molsim working now. Then type do in the Molsim console, do path to the extracted files slash run.do. So we're going to run one of the scripts and then we're going to follow the instruction in the Molsim console. Usually that's to, to type run tv to run the test bench. So I'm going to do that in Molsim node just to see that it works. So there we are. So there's the console, I'm typing do and my home folder slash Jonas, that's my home folder, slash constrained random verification slash run dot two. So now run run the script. You can see some files here are listed. They have been compiled. These are VHDL files which were in the package. And we can see that my script has printed out a user manual, like do this, type run tb it says. I'm going to do that now. Type run tb. And we're going to see if this works or not. And there we are. We can see the simulation is running. It's print, printing out the console. And we have the waveform here. And everything works nicely on Ubuntu Linux. And 20.4. And you can download the uh, zip files containing the Molesim projects for most of my blog posts. Just look for this, uh, this form, need the Molesim project files, and uh, enter your email address and hit give me the files and I will send them to you automatically. So I hope that helps. I hope this was a useful video for how you can get Molesim up and running in Ubuntu 20.4.